What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Uh, last episode I put a set of tires on the DR here and I mentioned that I was only going to be using the tools out of the tool bag here. The one that I carry on the bike. Um, I, care, I use saddlebags every once in a while and this is awesome to have instead of the tool tube. But, well first of all the tool tube you can't run the number plate here with so kind of didn't like that idea. I carry a little bit too many tools for the factory one which is kind of small it's about the size of a can of beer so i like this bag i found it it's an acerbis or acerbis however the hell you want to pronounce it uh it carries just about everything that i need and then some which is good and it's low profile it's a bag so i can take it off of here i can put it in the saddle bag i can put it in a backpack um it's easy to access and carries a lot of stuff so i'm going to break this down and show you what's inside of it. All right, so basically we'll start with air pump. <clears throat> it's just a regular two-way bicycle pump and it's unlimited air at that point. Some people carry uh, CO2 containers. Some people carry these CO2 little dealies that you just screw onto your uh, Schrader valve, screw the CO2 into there and puncture it. And it fills up your tube one of the problems with that is um, well you've got two charges or three however many you carry that's more space though so the other thing is co2 will eventually leak out through the rubber so that's kind of like a temporary fix so like let's patch it let's get back to a place that I can either change the tube or find another tube or you know what I mean just to get yourself going my idea is patch it forget about it keep riding you can go another day or two like we're talking let's let's patch the tube fix it right with a little bit less space more time less space and then not have to worry about it for the rest of the ride or even I can go home and order a tube and have it come a week later and still be able to ride it to work for that week. So, unlimited air here. That's always good. Or even if you can get 10, 15 PSI into the tube, find a gas station, pump it back up to 40 where you need to. This will still get you there. Um, I have a foldable T handle here with Allen bits some Phillips head bits flathead bits that's good just to have for moving handlebars around uh, if you wipe out and you knock a handlebar or some or a lever out of the way you have those we have T handle here that I made out of a bunch of quarter inch extensions with 8 10 and a 12 on it they're all still quarter inch so that's kind of a cool little tool that I Uh, spur spark plug DR is two but having an extra one in case you do shit whatever this this could get you home spark plug wrench a 10 and a 12 
uh, wrench. The end of this is actually 12 or 10 rather. So that works also 10 here. So I can spin it with that. Uh, 17. I carry this now because I have a manual chain tensioner. So it's always a good idea to carry that with me. I may end up taking that out because that rattle that I've been talking about and things like that is not actually the cam chain. So I may not even need that. Two tire irons, tire pressure gauge, pair of pliers. Get back to those later. Uh, this is a Pro Cycle axle wrench. Well, that racing got it from pro cycle but uh front axle rear axle real good to have one of these simple simple tool super useful for um tubes because i mean that's that's the main focus of a toolkit for me is to be able to patch a tube or repair a tube it depends on the duration or length of the ride i may carry two tubes with me if i have extra luggage space if not i have a patch kit right here all it is just glue and two patches so I'll be able to patch if I need to and here is some safety wire a master link the tool to pull the valve stem through and about was it six eight feet of 32 thousands lock wire lock wire is always good to have because you can if it's it's one of those like unwritten things to carry in your tool bag that a lot of people don't think of carrying it but when you need it you'll know exactly what you it's just it's cordage is what it is it, without it being nylon it's just a metal cord that you can uh your kickstand spring goes you can tie it up with that uh fenders are starting to fall off you crack a fender you can puncture punk, poke a hole through it fix it with that um, it, there's just so many uses for lock wire and a lot of people I think forget to put it in their tool bag or even carry it with them so I always carry a bunch of that it's safe it's free it's easy it's uh, there's also some super glue in here that is more or less for believe it or not uh, wounds like if you cut yourself super glue is really good to have to patch that up uh, super glue some fabric to you do do whatever you have to to stop the bleeding super glue is a perfect and great first aid thing I don't carry band-aids because I mean let's face it we're men and women but if you're out riding a dirt bike you're not gonna need a band-aid you're gonna need a suture or you're gonna need something like a sleeve off of a t-shirt something like that to stop bleeding and that's your main goal is to stop the bleeding if you cut your finger, put your gloves back on and keep riding. You're not going to put a Band-Aid on there. Moleskin, I mean, moleskin would be a good idea on one, two, or three day trip. Because if you start forming blisters, you can put moleskin on. But that's a whole nother first aid kit for... This is just like the pack that stays on my bike no matter where I go. So, first aid is a whole nother topic. We can get on that. Super glue is good just to have no matter what. Uh, spare nuts and bolts all I have is M8 and M6 lock nuts I have one little hose clamp on there because everybody that I ride with ends up having some type of fuel leak on their carburetor fuel tank to carburetor so it's I always carry one of those um, fuel line I carry a piece of fuel line for basic transfers so if you run out of fuel or if, say, say you run out of fuel, how are you going to get it out of that next person's tank? Into a water bottle, into your hand, into something to put it into your tank. Well, if you carry a longer piece of fuel line, you can hook it right onto their pet cock and you can have a better remote line to get into that container that you're going to be pouring into your tank. So about a foot of fuel line works. I've actually used this quite a bit. Not this piece, but a piece. I've done it a bunch of times. Um, let's see what else. Beer koozie. Always got to carry a beer koozie with you. I don't care who you are. Carry a beer koozie. It's just you have to do it. And a couple cable ties. Carry those. Once you, uh, fixing things to you, to your backpack, to you can hold the tire on a rim with these. I carry two. 
I should probably carry more, but that's that's just what I end up carrying. And then in this little pocket, I have spare fuses. My a copy of my driver's license, insurance card, and registration. So that's always good to have because it's something to produce if you get pulled over. Yeah, you may have a wallet on you or whatnot, but let's face it, it's real easy to carry this and have proper documentation if you get pulled over. Then he'll probably give you trouble because it's a copy, but guess what? You still have it. So that that's just something I've always done. It's really easy photocopy stuff and when you get a new insurance card or a new registration, you can just tape it to this and then put it in a scanner, scan it again, and then just use that piece. I, this one's probably got four or five different copies on it. And you just I just keep copying over the top of it. And then uh, the last thing is, this is a spare key for my ignition. I took the fob off of it and let's see right here. So if you slide the key out of the thing here, that is what's in here all wrapped up. I kind of disguised it, but it's just so it doesn't dig into things like that. I put that in there just in case I'm a dummy and I forget a key or I lose it, say, say you're camping somewhere or you're, you're at work, whatever. Keys in your pocket go to work, do your thing, come back, and it's like, dude, I can't find my key anywhere. Like, it's gone, it was in my pocket, it's not in my toolbox, it's not, you know, on my desk, anything like that. Well, you have a spare one on your bike already. You just gotta hide it in your tool bag so nobody finds it. So, that's, that's basically what I carry with me. Uh, it's on the side of the bike there, which is, it's really easy to get to. It's real slim since it's a bag, it kind of forms to it real nice. The tool tube idea, it I don't think it's going to fit in here because I mean that's three and a half inches there and I it tapers in. I just don't, th I think people will remove this and the number plate itself and I don't want to do that. So for now that's what I'm using and it works good for me. I'm able to do a lot of maintenance on my bike with just those tools, which which is nice. I mean, I got this whole rack of tools here, but using just what's in your tool bag is nice because you know exactly what you need and what you don't need in terms of just basic tools to get things done. Taking the carburetor off, um, taking the air cleaner out, taking the seat off, taking the number plates off, adjusting your levers, adjusting your bars, adjusting your brakes. Um, taking your brakes off, things like that. All those basic tools should be in your tool bag. So then if you ever need to do it on the trail, you have them there. Or at least an abbreviated version of it. Something that'll make do. So that's what I use. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, watch a couple more of my back episodes. And subscribe, like them, comment on them, tell me I should carry this, I should carry that. Uh, tell me I'm doing something right. Tell me I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you.